Oh, I'm, I was just teaching him the neck brace, so you can talk to him. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. So just go ahead and look straight, and then and just raise your hand up a little bit so that you're more like seeing. Okay. Oh, so this can kind of like you're good um, at selfies. Oh, <laughs> I don't take selfies. Okay. <laughs> so um, so basically the back part, um, these little circle things kind of sit at the base of your of your head okay. there, and then um, this part right here is just kind of goes just to the back. Uh -huh. Okay. And then this just goes and fits your chin in it. And then you basically just use the Velcro. To position it to your comfort. And then this part right here, uh, you push this out. And when you turn it to your right, uh, right, well, to your left, so it you, raises it. So you pull it out, you pull, you pull, and pull and it turn. out and turn. And then if you go the opposite way, <clears throat> it lowers your chin. So this way you can just adjust it yourself to get your chin to kind of fit snugly in there. Yeah, I see. Do you want to go ahead and try? It's all totally up to you. All right. So there you go. And that's fine. So that's I'm going to go. Hand grenade so bodily so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off your uh, collar. Uh -huh. And while I'm doing that, I don't want you to be moving your head around. Okay. Are you in a comfortable position yes. right now? And then after I take out this drain, I need you to, to be in bed for at least like um, 15, 20 minutes or so. Do you no need problem. to use the bathroom or do anything before? No. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Okay, and we just have to take off the front part, that's fine. All right, so this drain looks like there are sutures there. So I'm gonna take off the sutures. Sutures are just these little black li um, liners. So right now what you're feeling is the clear tape coming off and I'm just exposing the part that I need to to get the drain out. This shouldn't hurt, you might just feel like a little bit of pressure. You okay JD? Yeah. Okay. I'm just cutting that uh, clear tape. And now I'm going to take out the sutures. Sometimes I tie it really, really tightly, so um, it's like hard to get it. I want to make sure I don't get your skin. It's all right. They cut my skin already. Okay, I'm going to use the tweezers to get rid of the suture. Okay, well, I actually that. usually well, take done. out my own stitches. You do? Yeah. Okay. I'm not suggesting it for today. Just go ahead and take a deep breath, hold it, pulling it out. All done. And what was that in? Was that in a vein? Was that... JD said that it was unusual that people asked for this to be filmed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> rare. <laughs> I am not. You're an, special. I am so. not an Instagram influencer, <laughs> if anyone was curious. Um. I'm just a nerd that likes technical things. Alright, and I'm just going to put a little dressing on this. We're just, and I'll explain to you when I go over the discharge instructions when everything comes off. Um, and then we're going to put the neck collar back on. And we'll just put some ice around the area. And then you just stay put for about 15 minutes. Okay, so these with the little tubes are um, uh, inflating and deflating. <clears throat> this helps my circulation so that I don't form blood clots in my legs after surgery.
So the way these work is that little gunshot goes off and it entirely fills and then it slowly discharges. The time between the gunshots is maybe about 45 seconds, which if you're really, really tired from anesthesia is just the perfect time that you're almost asleep and then it wakes you up. I don't think this is intentional. This is like some sort of torture from Guantanamo Bay to keep you awake all night long. Ha, ha, ha.